right? Yes. So at five o'clock, I'm going to hit the buttons. And David, thanks for coming. Oh, we yes. just Hello. Testing. The folks that are online, can you hear me okay? Just raise your hand if you can hear us okay. There's more than two of us tonight. There's three. <laughs> the quorum has arrived. Hi, Tracy. Okay. <laughs> Barely. Too much is there. Is Bob not going to be there? Um, oh, we were just looking at the yeah. Hello. I'm just testing the mics. Can you hear us okay? The meeting hasn't started yet. I'm just checking the mic. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Thank you.
We're ready to go. Mm-hmm. One kooky guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, work session is now. Conditions, I guess. No. Okay. Sorry, I got to shut this phone off. Tony's phone is down. Uh-huh. City yeah. All right. Um, we're now begin our work session. We had um, just been informed by Mara that um, 36 Heart is going to be pre approved and 800 Edgar Road will be pre approved. So um, we can discuss 512 Lee Avenue. Any comments from the board members? I just wanted to have a conversation to see if they had considered coordinating the style of the new garage with the style of the house by incorporating some of the house details, um, like maybe um, the gable end returns, um, perhaps coordinating the trim style and um, adding window grills to the garage so it would more closely coordinate with the house. Okay. I just had a question about the garage door, just making sure that what is shown with the lights on the upper row is actually what we're gonna get because sometimes it's just a image of a garage door, not really reflective of what is planned. So I just wanted to confirm that. No, just to just the materiality, make sure it matches the house, like you know, the siding, the siding exposure thickness, you know, what and I know we're colorblind, but it'd be nice if it was blue. Uh, <laughs> Andy, you have any comments? I've got nothing. All right. So that's 512 Lee Avenue. Next, um, one to discuss is going to be 915 Cornell Avenue. Really quick. Yeah. And then just as a reminder to those that are listening on, we're still in the work session, haven't gotten to the agenda yet. So when we get to the agenda, they'll be able to talk with you. Right. Um, I think some t- there were a couple questions. So I wanted to make sure that you all are remembering how the FAR works. Um, so in most cases, um, some of the previous applicants, when they've applied for the FAR, have tried to show you how big certain other houses are around them and not necessarily related to what the FAR would allow them to build. Um, and in this case, they were trying to show you that out of all the other lots around them, if people were allowed to build just under the current FAR, they could build houses that were much larger than this one. So that was one, I think it's a little bit of a twist on what you normally see. And so there, I think there was some confusion on that because pretty much most of the lots around them are only allowed to go up to the 0.32 FAR. Um, they weren't giving you a what their current FAR is right now um, because any of those houses at any time could expand. And then a couple quick things about the property itself. Um, The house is one of the oldest two-story structures in North Webster. Um, So I know that they are working on trying to save that house. Um, And in doing that, it is a very small house right on the property line on a very narrow lot, um, which again, when you see it in the context, people don't know where people's lot lines are. So a lot of people think that there's, you know, the the land or a lot of land Mm -hmm. around it, very, very narrow. (laughs) Um, And so what they are asking for is a certain amount of square footage related to that. It's they're only asking up to the max that they can ask, which is the 0.4. And even if they ask for that, the square footage of what they're adding technically won't have to come back to ARB if, because it's a rear addition, not in a historic district, and it's going to be less than 400 square feet. So I had encouraged them to maybe come in first with the ask before getting too far along with what they were gonna build, um, as well as 
making sure by coming to you first and asking about the FAR and seeing if it can be worked out this way, it would also avoid potentially having to get variances. So mm -hmm. they're trying to work within the existing setbacks and all these other things while still retaining that existing structure. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to give all those piece parts in your discussion because I think there was some confusion um, about that. So if that helps, they're still available to, to answer questions, but I figured in work session that might help you mm -hmm. with some. So, so this pink so square is just showing what is legally buildable on the lot? Uh, the pink square is the legal setbacks okay. on the lot. Right. Yeah, so they and can- And this is an addition, not a new construction. Okay. Yes, this is an addition. Now, it's the same setbacks if they did new construction, yeah. if they tore down. Would the addition on the rear be allowed to be built in line with the existing house or would it have to be offset? So it would have to be, it would have to follow within that pink box. Yeah, got it. Oh, okay. So, so they can't- be a they, six foot side yard Right. Of the new addition, the main house is going to be what three inches, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's, that's so the house would remain, renovate the existing house. Yeah. Anything okay. new would need to meet the the current setbacks. That would have them <clears throat> potentially be able to avoid going to board of adjustment. Um, yeah. And again, the request that they're asking for is small enough mm -hmm. that later, if all the elevations and everything that they provide that staff doesn't have any questions, we have the ability to administratively approve and not necessarily send the addition back to ARB. Okay, and, and the property is substandard by virtue of its width and also its area? Yes. Okay, that's, it's tortured. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, and then it should, it's, it's um, in a zoning district that has a minimum of 7,500 square feet and uh, needs to be 60 feet wide. Okay. So as you can probably tell, Okay. Very yeah, small in right. both instances. I knew the 60 <clears throat> and I knew 31 wasn't that next. So okay. yeah. Right. And then what's the and then what's the what's the new it what's the new FAR when the addition's added? It they can ask up for a point four. That's the most they can ask from the ARB. And they are asking for the point four, which is still not a very large addition, right. but it right. would give them the ability to yeah. Add a little more space to the existing house and then do the renovations and then kind of work with what they've got off yeah. the back. Yeah. I was okay with this. I, I'm delighted that they're saving that awesome old house. It is really cool. And um, they are so constrained by such a tiny lot. And um, it is a small addition and they're, they're not going to be exceeding this site coverage at all. So I'm, you know, I thought it was fine. I'm good. Yeah, good. Yeah, I was I was fine with it after learning what you had sent me because I was reading it as just can I get up to forty <laughs> percent yeah. without any drawings? I'm like, no. <laughs> but yeah, the background really helps and okay. Definitely. Yeah. So if you Proof wanted that, to change yeah. it to a yeah. pre-approval, but I yeah. knew I wanted you to be able to talk about that in the work session together. Yeah. So if there's other questions, I'm here, but I'll let you discuss. Okay, thank, great. thank you for the info, Mara. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm good with that too. If everyone on the board's okay with that, we can pre-approve. Yep. Yep. We'll pre-approve uh, 915 Cornell once the official meeting begins. All right. Very good. Um, so it's 517. So what I'm going to ask you to do, we're going to go ahead and turn off the Zoom. Um, yep. I have a couple informal things to discuss.
So we're back on. Thank you, everyone, for waiting patiently. Um, welcome to the Architectural Review Board meeting for Webster Groves, August 3rd. Um, start off by introducing Yolanda Wilkins and Andrew Klosterman with the city. We have Sarah Richardson online, council liaison, Carol Dunkey and Tracy Collins on my right, and Ken Burns, David Yates on my left, myself, Bob Buckman, all volunteer architects on the review board. First item of business tonight um, will be meeting minute review from July 20th. I think all of us were here. So with that, can I have a motion? I'm a, excuse me. I motion to uh, accept the me minutes as, as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Meeting minutes July 20th are good. Next, we have three pre-approvals of our list of four projects. Um, first one, and I'll ask for a motion for each, is 36 Heart. Make a motion to approve 36 Heart as submitted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 36 Heart is approved. Next, we have 800 Edgar Road FAR requests. May I have a motion? I make a motion to uh, accept uh, 800 Edgar Road FAR request as submitted. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. <laughs> Very good. Opposed? All right. That's that's four and zero, and then a recused. So that one is approved. And the last pre approval is 915 Cornell. Do I have a motion? Make a motion to approve 915 Cornell as submitted. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. 915 Cornell is approved. Lastly, we have 5112 Lee Avenue. If you're present, I would ask you to come up and introduce yourself and we'll chat. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Debbie Richardson with Coach House Garages. And I'm Tom Shalom in the home owner. Welcome, Debbie and Tom. Um, Mara did send us some of your comments, and mm -hmm. so we're ready to uh, address some of those. Um, Tom uh, does not have a problem going ahead and putting grills in the windows to match the, or grids, I'm sorry, in the windows to match the grids uh, in his home. Um, the materials on the garage and the color do match the house exactly. That's a hardy, hardy board siding and the color will be the same. Um, the two squares next to the man door, um, those, that is um, a J block for um, a light and then um, a GFI outlet there near the bottom. And then to answer your question, the um, uh, overhead door, the lights that are shown at the top will actually be uh, windows. Yeah. Tom has a picture of that garage door if you guys wanna see exactly uh, what that looks like. Um, he's got one that- This is what Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's, so that is drawn correctly. Yep. Okay. Um, and so then I think all that remains as far as the um, comments was to um, do those gable end returns and the louvers. And so Tom was gonna address that. So on those gable end returns, are you talking about where the gutter wraps around? Yes. Yeah, I'd rather not do that. To me, that's a pretty significant expense and it's not a functional item. I know my house has it, I wish it didn't because yeah. it's just one more thing I gotta try and reach around to clean out the drain okay. uh, gutter. So to me, that's not a functional item. And they and will be gable-ended. So, you know, from the road, you're gonna be looking 
mm -hmm. you know, straight on. So the gable ends would be over here. Yeah. It's not yeah. really facing the road. That That's fine. I just wanted to, you know, see if you were open to making some of those changes to coordinate the house and the garage. And that, you know, I think what you're doing is, is fine. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's fine. Now, the only thing I think serves right now is a place for the squirrels to sit and to gnaw. <laughs> <laughs> so I not give them <laughs> Um, yes, I squirrels like tasty parts of my house too. So I yeah. really um really gnawing on my heart. So uh, oh my they gosh. Really, yeah. Well, well they really and, are. And those they're, they're, uh, they're about they're they're about the squirrels. <laughs> right. They're like we can eat cement board. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't break their little squirrely teeth to gnaw on <laughs> and then and the same with those louvers. Um yeah, I'd rather not do those louvers. That's either. fine. That's fine. Absolutely fine. So the only change to the plan as submitted, we're, we will add those grids in the windows. Yeah. yeah. And then and then just verify that the material, the siding yes, and the trim dimensions match the house. It is. Yeah. 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 It's okay. same hard and plank. I have every desire to make it be the same relief. Great. So on. Cool. Great. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you. Um, thank you. With that, may I have a motion on 512 Lee? Make a motion to approve 512 Lee Avenue with the understanding that the siding and trim dimensions on the new garage will match the house and that the windows in the garage will have grills to match the house. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all. Opposed? You're welcome. All right. That has been approved. And with that, I'll adjourn the meeting. Good night, everyone. Oh, is there somebody on Zoom? Major League Baseball. <laughs> ML Brown. I don't know who that would be. Oh, you want to ask them if they have a... Huh? I know. Hey, our house right now. Uh... You want... <laughs> Smell. Yeah. <laughs> On Zoom, we have a participant that is um, ML Brown. Were you connected with one of the projects or did you have a comment to make? All right. I don't think they can speak unless you bring them in. Yeah. Or did you? Yeah. Hi, it looks like you're unmuted, ML Brown. Did you have a question or comment? All right. I think we're Yeah, we can we can't hear you if you're speaking. I don't see how to chat was disabled. We, we can hear you. If you would, if you would like to unmute yourself, and and uh, if you had questions or comments for us, uh, thank you for asking. Uh, we are just uh, residents and wanted to watch the meeting. Oh, okay. Thank you. We just wanted to make sure we weren't accidentally skipping over anyone. Um, Not, at Not at all. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. You too. Bye bye. Bye. All right, meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone. So.